ओके गुड मॉर्निंग एवरीवन वेलकम टू एल आई सी डी लेक्चर नंबर ट्वेंटी सेवन ए टूडे टॉपिक इज इंट्रोडक्शन टू टाइमर आई सी ट्रिपल फाइव एंड ट्रिपल फाइव पिन आउट सो लिटिल बिट ऑफ हिस्ट्री ऑल्सो वी विल ऑब्जर्व इन दिस सो लेट स्टार्ट सो द ट्रिपल फाइव टाइमर आई सी फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल इट वॉज मैन्युफैक्चर बाय सिग्नेटिक्स and it is it was called as ne555 timer the first ic timer was introduced in 1972 to so that is the first commercially available timer in a 8 pin dual inline package okay its low cost and versatility made it a instant hit in the market fine it was later manufactured by 12 other companies and became the best selling product so some of the other semiconductor vend- vendors who make this triple five timer were texas instruments maxim fairchild nxp and st microelectronics okay now let us uh, go to the inventor of this triple five timer i see it was hans r kamenzing okay so hans designed the first triple five timer i see in the year 1971 under an american company signetics corporation so that time um, you know the engineer hans was working as a electronic engineer so hans are amazing a little bit history about him so basically many a times whenever we you know study a particular ic or a topic we missed ki what was the story behind or what was the history behind who was the inventor so a little bit of one minute of credit to uh, hans r amazing i think that we all should know about his achievements so he was an electronic engineer and inventor he secured over 20 us patents in his era he was a prolific author wrote three books and numerical numerous technical articles his nationality was switzerland zurich so uh, engineer hans also introduced the idea of pll to design so pll is phase loop pll is phase locked loop okay so that also we have in a syllabus so he was the first to introduce the idea of pll he invented the first class d amplifier which are normally used as audio amplifiers and he has designed 140 over 140 standard and custom ic such as lm555 lm565 uh, lm566 and lm567 okay so before moving forward let us listen to one or two videos wherein uh, sir is explaining about his uh, you know the, the story with triple five timer so I will also share this with you in the meeting team. So this is the video into interview of engineer Hans Kamenzing. So let me copy this from here, and let me go to Google Chrome, and uh, I think I can replace this over here. Yeah. So let us listen to, so. Okay, it's it's a short two minute. a uh, video okay it's loading up uh well uh that goes back to uh, 1970 mm-hmm. uh i was a young engineer at signetics and signetics had went through a bad time uh, they had layoffs really bad layoffs so i decided to uh become independent you know i didn't want to be an employee uh anymore uh i wanted to design my own integrated circuits so i asked them for a contract uh to design a circuit that i thought might be a good seller uh and uh they gave me they paid me $1200 a month for a year and i set up a uh, a lab with equipment like this uh between two chinese restaurants in sunnydale and started designing there were no computers then uh, that you could use for the design so i had to do it on the bench 
It was a soldering iron, and uh, it took me about six months uh, before I had a breadboard, and uh, another six months to do the, uh, the layout and get the prototypes. So uh, Synetics got a very good deal, but it got me started. You know, it became independent. Uh, and I got more contracts from uh, that point on. Matter of fact, I was very, very busy. Uh, it was a time I went to school in the evening getting a master's in business administration. And I taught at the same university in the morning and worked during the day. And then at home I had a family with four children. So I was busy, all right, but it worked out. It worked out just fine. So over here, uh, sir was an inspiration as he, you know, described his journey that uh, in the morning he used to work. Uh, he used to attend the college or university and in the evening he used to work. So that's the inspiration with which we can get. Let's listen to Sir for, from the second video also. So I'll go over here and I... So let's watch the second video also. What you also need to design an IC is a good microscope. This is a fairly expensive microscope with a high magnification. And then occasionally you need a prober. And these are individual probes that have a tiny little uh, pin, a very sharp point, mm -hmm. and you put the wafer on here and you can probe and measure if something goes wrong. Of course I never use it, nothing ever goes wrong, right? <laughs> yeah, that's, that's the uh, original prototype wafer of the 555. Uh, you know, the, the dimension was two inch diameter, very small wafer. Well, uh, here I have wow. all my small instruments, so, uh, uh, multimeters, mm -hmm. okay. and uh, building breadboards. Yeah. Uh, here I have the tool, mm -hmm. and all the resistors, capacitors, <laughs> crystals, inductors. Integrated circuits. Oh. As a matter of fact, this is uh, from 555. <laughs> okay. And the connectors, sockets. Oh. Yeah. And so on. Miscellaneous. Some more integrated circuits. So I got everything I need to uh, build and. Uh, Measure, evaluate the uh, uh, breadboards. So uh, I think you must have seen that's the uh, garage of an electronics engineer. He used to work uh, with all those components, and he has described the story. Okay, so let us moving on. Uh, let us come to our uh, very first. Uh, you know, uh, the triple five timer or the five five six timer by Ms. Signetix. So let us see how you used to, you know, earlier in 1973, uh, we didn't used to call it as a data sheet. We used to call it as a, they used to call it as a data book. So let us see one of the data books, which was available in the year 1973 of, uh, you know, triple five timer. So I will share this, uh, one uh, this uh, notepad with y'all wherein we have all the links but let me for time being just check the data book so it's loading up yeah so this is how the data sheet 
now it is called as data seed earlier it was called as a data book so originally uh, you know released by uh, signetix so this is a triple five or the uh, five five uh, five fifty five timer or five five six is the dual timer basically okay let me just show you a little bit of it yeah so this is how it used to be so basically all the features and the applications in the year 1973 how it, how it used to look like so this is your pinout in a t package and a vertical package the ratings and the block diagram so basically all the features i have originally uh, written it from year only and the applications also so let us go back to the pdf so this is how it used to look like uh signetix uh triple five timer 555 timer as this uh, used to say okay so let us describe uh, you know let us give a little description to any five triple five uh, monolithic timer ic it is a highly stable controller uh, capable of producing accurate time delay or uh, oscillations okay let us see that similarly over here yeah same way i have written over here the first line i've taken it from here okay uh, relatively it is triple five timer i see uh, already it is well established it has been over you know now almost a touch to 50 years it is there in the market and lot of lot of good material is available so i am just a facilitator for providing you the material i don't think so that i can myself write and uh, you know originally give you some uh, materials so i have taken it i'm giving you the resources wherein i have written the things okay so these all things i have written it from the 1973 data book so in a time delay mode of operation for this triple uh, 555 timer the time is precisely controlled by one external register and capacitor now this you will understand in few lectures and for stable operation uh, as an oscillator the free running frequency and the duty cycle are both accurately controlled with two external registers and a one capacitor okay so this also we will be seeing in soon so this is my triple five timer ic pinout so basically it's very important there are a lot of applications of any for 555 timer so the pin it is a eight pin dip that is dual in line and pin number one is ground pin number two is trigger pin number three is output pin number four is reset pin number five is control voltage six is uh, pin number six is threshold pin number seven is discharge and pin number eight is my supply voltage that is vcc so normally we operate uh, vcc around in the voltage of five volts to zero okay a ground being the zero so these are some of the features which i have taken from the data book that is it operates in the both a uh, stable mode and mono stable mode i hope that by now you we have seen studied circuit uh, opam as a uh, stable uh, you know multi vibrator and as a mono stable multi vibrator so here triple five timer also will work in a uh, stable and mono stable mode it has adjustable duty cycle now what is duty cycle t on upon capital t that is capital t is t on upon uh, t on plus t off so basically that is the duty cycle for a square waveform the duty cycle will be 50% so this ic triple five timer integrated circuit is uh, capable of uh, you know sourcing or sinking current of about 200 milliamperes here its output that is pin number 6 can drive ttl transistor transistor logic and it is a normally off and normally off on and off output basically so let us describe in short the pin function so pin number 1 is the ground for the chip Pin number two is the triggers the input signal and starts the waveform. A little short description. Uh, pin number three is the uh, output pin where the signal is outputted. Pin number four is the reset pin which forces the output to zero volts. Pin number five is the control voltage. Pin number six is uh, it resets the output waveform to zero volts. Pin number seven is discharge. It discharges the capacitor charge to zero volts externally connected capacitor. And pin number eight is the uh, positive DC supply voltage okay and uh, these are some of the applications again i have taken from this uh, data book over here same applications I have written it down so it is uh, some of the applications of uh, 555 timer as uh, precision timing uh, pulse generator sequential timing time delay generation pulse width modulation and missing pulse detector okay so in this lecture uh, we have uh, described the triple five timer its history 
uh, which year it was commercialized, who was the inventor, a little history on the inventor, inventor, and we have also seen the 1973 data book, and uh, we have uh, we have seen some descriptions, and finally we have seen uh, uh, we have gone through the 555 timer IC pinout and some of the pin functions in brief. Okay, so uh, that's it for today's lecture. Uh, next, uh, we will see the internal structure of triple pi timer. So until then, have a good day and thank you.